looks like uh, those are walleyes. Yeah, but it looks like a trout, see? Yeah, right? it looks like trout. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That wasn't us. We just got done setting up. So that was already here when we got here. But uh, yeah, people take your garbage out with you, see? Yeah. We finished this supper, but they forgot this trash. <laughs> We're gonna do like 24, 24 hour ice fishing challenge, right? Yeah, two day, one night, basically. Yeah, two days, one night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't, uh, I haven't eaten since like 5 p.m. last night, so I'm, <laughs> it's almost been 24 hours since I've last eaten right now. Yeah. And uh, the challenge basically is uh, we didn't bring any food, all we brought was water. Uh, not even any snacks or energy bars or anything like that. Yeah, we're we can, gonna eat We can only we eat what we catch. Yeah. That's it. So, for example, if he catches a fish and I don't, he's eating, I'm not eating. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna share with you. No, no I don't know, man. No that's problem. not part of the challenge, Oh, bro. the fish is big enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna get uh, our lines in the water here. We're all... I just... Uh, I'm all set up here. You're all set up too? Yeah. Alright, well, let's go. Fish coming up. No, got a fish coming up and down. No, just a mark. Not a fish. Not yet. I'm still playing around with him. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sign. Yeah, still coming up and down. Seems like he's pretty interested in my lure. Come on. We've been fishing for like half an hour or one hour. Got a few marks. Didn't bite. Let's check out another shutter over here. Let's check out another yeah. mark. <laughs> That's very spacious out here. Nice. Yeah, pretty nice and roomy in here, man. Well, it's it's pretty high caught. Yeah, I like this one because it's got this little organizer on the side. So you can put like your phone and whatnot on the side there. Mine is a pretty portable one. Yeah. It's for uh, camping, not yeah. for ice fishing. <laughs> but, but this one uh, packs up pretty nice. Yeah, it for me. packs up like this. Okay. Yeah. It's not, so it's not heavy, right? It's not too bad. No, it's not that heavy. Probably heavier than yours for sure, because I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so here's my setup. It's heavy duty. I've got some live minnows here too, if you want to try some live minnows. Jar jack of. Wow. <laughs> nice. I don't think I did that. Live minnows, frozen minnows. Keeps up like this, so we're going to have to start cooking up these minnows, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still hungry right now. Yeah, Although, I haven't eaten for like almost 24 hours now, 23 and a half hours, it's like 4.30. Last time I ate was 5, five o'clock last night for dinner. I had breakfast at 6, 7 o'clock, I got up very early this morning. All I had was yeah. coffee for breakfast. I wanted to just do the challenge as uh, long as possible, but uh, yeah, so this is my setup. We've got to start catching some fish pretty soon. I got a feeling it's going to be one of those night bite. Yeah, I think cross. Half a trip well, you should probably put a bell in. No, no need. No, no need? It'll pop up and set itself. Like this. Let's say fish takes a line. You got the trigger right there. 
Okay. It'll set, set it right away. Simple. Yeah. Now all you gotta do is just reel it up because it's already set. Uh, on this one, I'm just using live minnow. Still, minnow, still live. So, uh, yeah. put them in the water, it'll start popping around again. See? Yeah. And that works for a berber too. Walleye, yeah. berber. Walleye, berber, whatever. I have to set this guy pretty much right at the bottom. Cool. And then my jigging, my jigging rod here, I've got about maybe eight inches from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I can see what the ruler in the bottom right now. One of these things have to have, has to get a bite, man. It's gonna be a night bite, man. That's uh, I'm feeling a night bite coming on. We right got now. plenty of time. Yeah, we no got, rush. We got plenty of time. Just. We're starting to get hungry, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why. That's why. This is like I don't, I don't survival know. challenge, right? Yeah, survival, right? I, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think my camera probably caught my stomach rumbling earlier there a couple of times. So, <laughs> well, we've been fishing for like almost three hours. Uh, it's almost a completely dark outside. Six thirty right now. Um, got a few bites. No, not bites. Just uh marks on the screen but um, you know didn't get hooked at all so what I'm gonna do like it's gonna be a survival challenge you through the night and uh, I just had a little tiny piece of bread that's all <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do but um, we're gonna keep fishing through the night maybe maybe the night bite is gonna pick up Now the lighting for this video is going to be better uh, compared to last video, last ice fishing camping video. Uh, remember that one of the subscribers just uh, comment on my last ice fishing camera uh, video that and he said, well, you should improve your lighting in a video. That's why I bought this, you know, Auto Pro like uh, LED light kit uh, immediately right after I saw that comment. So the, this lighting is much better than last one, right? I used my regular camping lantern for my last ice fishing camping video, this one. Well, this one is actually bright too, but uh, this one has more like focused light. You know, I need more like dispersive light for, for the ice fishing shack. So you guys can, uh, can have like more more brighter side in the video so I'm not gonna use this one it does look better right that product is pretty popular um, I try to look for this product um, like through uh, different outdoor like retailers uh, they don't have this product in, in, in stock and I bought this one online from uh, Riverside Outdoors website uh, It cost me like 105 bucks including shipping and taxes. Pretty good deal So I'm gonna use this light for um, future ice fishing like overnight ice fishing videos. It's pretty good um, But the big bummer for this trip is that one of my batteries is dead okay I brought two lithium batteries with me one of them is dead right now I don't know I should have a charge it but uh, it's not working this one this one is supposed to to be for like my ice fishing finder but this one is not working so I'm only having one lithium battery right now I'm gonna switch it back and forth so this one the only battery I'm having right now is charging the light so um, I can't not use fish finder because I'm out of battery <sighs> now the biggest challenge for us is the food we don't we don't have food right now we didn't bring any food we are expecting to you know um, catch some fish for for lunch but um, well it seems like the fish is not cooperating <laughs> so 
My dinner is here! Yes! My dinner is finally here! Come on! I am hooked! I am hooked, guys! I am hooked! A huge pervert! Come on! Go check it out! It's a pervert! How do I cook it? Teach me! I don't know how to cook it this... Out this guy for the last time, and then it's gonna be my dinner. All right. You have to take some of them. <laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> yeah. Check out the. All right, so here. check this out, guys. This is the bourbon. It, it feels like so soft, you know. It's just a. It feels so different from. from Boy, sauger. It just uh... see. Ah, oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> oh yeah. And there's th there's no scale in it. Yeah. I don't even have to scale. Oh. Right. Okay, that's gonna be interesting to taste, man. Well, people say it tastes like lobster, and it feels like lobster. The meat. All right, let's cook it. So right, let's check it out. You need to use my uh, my pan. Oh, I do have a pan. You got a pan? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Well, guys. Alright, so I'm gonna... So here's the moment of truth. We're gonna taste bourbon for the very first time. Let's see how it tastes. I know it's not my bourbon, but hopefully I'll catch one well, too later on. But uh, this is also Danny's yeah. first time. Catching a bourbon and eating a bourbon too, so moment of truth. We'll cook it up and then let's try it. So I'm not using sesame oil, I'm just gonna use a butter. Butter, yeah, and the fish is gonna absorb the uh, flavor of butter, so you don't have to add a seasoning on it. So it's gonna taste good without seasoning. Yeah, plus I it'd, be, it'd be nice to taste the uh, just the pure fish yep. taste. See how it goes. Can't believe you caught a jigging on a rattle bait. Yeah, unbelievable. Everybody is saying jigging minnow, jigging minnow. Everyone's saying dead stick, but here we are. Danny was jigging his rattle bait, and that's what it bit on. Yeah, I caught a burger with a rattle bait without a fish bite. <laughs> Dude, your lighting in here is so much better than the lighting that I have in my shack, man. Well, that, that, that lantern... It makes filming yeah. so nice in here. That lantern is for camping, not for... Uh, ice fishing shack. Well, I mean like... All right. Have four of those lanterns though and hang them on each corner. Probably be pretty Yeah, stiff. go get the lantern from yeah. Amazon, it's pretty cheap. Gonna get four of them and hang, it on, hang one on each corner. <laughs> Let's warm up the uh, butter first, and then put the fish in. We're eating, eating everything. We got the head and everything in here. Yeah, and the tail. Everything here. 
which is what I should have done with my walleye. Take all the calories that we can get. Yeah, I regret not just cutting it out into chunks and just cooking everything. Everybody's saying you, you you're trying to, to use a uh, like minnow. That's what everybody says. Jig and minnow right at the bottom, oh, and just dead stick and not even touch it. Yeah, that's why I bought a live, live, live minnow, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, live minnow, frozen minnows. People say they both work, but everyone's saying the main thing is just dead stick. So that's why it's pretty surprising you caught a jig and a rattle bait. All right, first chunk. There you go. All right. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Smells good with that butter. Okay, I'm gonna put more chunking. Touch the butter and the meat starts shrinking, you know? It, it's, yeah. <laughs> Even the skin is shrinking now. Oh man, I can't wait to taste this thing. Oh uh, yeah. So people say it tastes like lobster? Feels like <laughs> and tastes like lobster is what people say. And by touching the meat when it was raw there earlier, I could kinda kinda get the idea. Bourbon tail, is it gonna taste like lobster tail? We'll see. Oh man, that smells good. It smells good. Yeah, already. the butter smells good. Yeah. Not the fish, but the fish should taste good. Alright, guys, so I am cooking the bourbon right now with my camping fuel canister. At the same time, Nico caught another burger as well in the other uh, shelter, and he's gonna bring the fish over here. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah. Okay. Just one sec. One sec. Come on. Oh, it's a little one. Yeah, a little one. Nice. Good. Yeah. All right, guys. So there it is. Thought I'd do uh, record the uh, video here because it's, there's just way better lighting here in Danny's, in Danny's shack. So there's my bourbon right there. First bourbon ever. It's not. It's not huge. It's not a monster, but uh, we're gonna cook him up, and he's gonna taste just as good. So I'm super happy. We finally actually got on a bourbon. This is my very first time ever catching a bourbon, and this is gonna be our first time eating and tasting bourbon as well. So. But these things are like, wow, like these are super slimy. It's, it's crazy, like it's even slimier than a pike. Like it's so slippery. And trip the belly. So the belly is like, and the belly is just, they've got a lot, it looks like they've got a lot of fat. Right. So that should provide us with a good amount of calories. And Danny's bourbon is almost done cooking up over here. So we're gonna dispatch this guy right away and chop him up and then cook him up. Actually, we might just save him for breakfast for breakfast for tomorrow <laughs> just yeah. in case so we're gonna save this guy just got him this batch of gut and then we'll save this guy for breakfast for tomorrow but uh yeah there it is there's a the bourbon guys that is pretty cool all right you want to do it later let's have a first a bite of a bourbon yeah i'm gonna have a first bite Take a piece out. Yep, go ahead. Alright. 
All right, guys, here it is, moment of truth. Cooked with butter. Wow. Cooked with butter. Just butter, no, no seasoning or anything. No seasoning. Man, it's just chunks of meat, hey? Right. No boom. You know what? Next time, we gotta cook it over a campfire. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> does it taste like lobster? No. Dude, yeah, it does, though. It does have a. It's got a lobster texture. It does have bones. Lots of bones over there. That is crazy. But it, it does feel and taste kind of like lobster. Lobster? Mm hmm. I'm just sitting here eating like a savage for you guys, man. Just <laughs> with my hands, man. That's what happens when you don't eat for like 26 hours. You're in a survival situation, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have like chopsticks or forks and knife. You don't have the luxury of that. <laughs> luxury of utensils, no? Right. Oh, man. That's actually... <laughs> that is actually really good. Yes. And there's exactly. no seasoning here, man. Yep, yeah, there's no seasoning. Try it's butter. Just, it's just... Pure butter and, and yep. just the fish, not even salt in this thing. Man, add add some garlic. Cause it might it might, it might last. Add a little bit of seasoning in yep. here, man. Like salt and then garlic powder. Oh, buddy. Or oh, lemon, lemon juice. A oh, little bit of lemon juice yep. too. Just how, however, the same way you would cook a lobster, pretty much. Guys, it does taste like lobster. I'm not even lying right now. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever been this happy eating <laughs> eating before, man. <laughs> Just so exactly. hungry and it, it actually tastes really good.